hello this is going to be the makeup for jack so we're going to start with the same base as the other base videos and let's get started we're going to go in with this fluffy brush and i'm going to start with a really warm toned brown and we're going to add a little bit of the orange so starting in with that warm toned brown i am going to kind of round out my cheekbones a little bit but while still adding that kind of color and contour to them And I'm just going to make sure that that is nice and blended because this face is young and we don't want too much harsh shadow in it. And unlike some of the other ones, we are going in a pretty round shape with this one because we want to kind of give that youthful look to the face and keep it in there. And I'm just going in and defining that contour and making sure it is all nice and pigmented and blended out. Now I'm going in with the Beauty Blender just to make sure that it is nice and soft like I said earlier. I don't want this to be too harsh. And now I'm going to take that excess product and I'm just going to warm up the nose a little bit so it doesn't look too washed out. And we're going to square it out a little bit just like we've done before. I'm also going to add some contour to the end of the nose just to warm it out and then we can round out the point with, with some concealer. So now taking that light concealer, I'm going to go in and dot on the point of the nose so that I can blend that out and get that nice round point. Perfect. Now the Beauty Blender was kind of squaring it out a little bit, so I'm just adding back in with the brush and making sure it's nice and smooth and rounded out. And now once again, I was just going back in and making sure that all of that contour is nice and blended and nice and soft. Now I'm going to go in with that same warm brown and I am going to shadow up my eyes a little bit. This is just to add kind of that sunken in look just a tiny bit and give definition to the eyes. I will be blending that brown down into my under eye just to make everything look nice and connected. So now I'm gonna go back in and just blend that eyeshadow back down just so it kind of connects to my under eyes. And I am just making sure that pigment is even all on my eyelid and making sure it's blended. So now I'm gonna go in for the eyebrows. I'm gonna use this nice thin brush and I am going to Kind of follow the natural shape of my brow but flatten out the bottom a little bit so that it squares out the brows just a little bit just to kind of give it that boyish mess as you can see i'm not being super precise with the shape here i want these to be a little fluffy a little messy but I am just bringing them around to kind of even out the shape between both eyebrows. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go in with this spoolie and just soften it up a little bit and make sure the brow hairs are not too stiff and they kind of stick out a little bit. And now taking that fluffy brush again, I'm going to go in and put this kind of orangey tone blush on the round points of my cheek before blending it up. 
this is going to focus the pigment towards the center of the face to keep that kind of youthful look. And like I said, just softening it out towards the upper part of my cheekbone, but really focusing that roundness right on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm also gonna add a little bit to my chin. And I am also going to brush a little excess product off on my nose, just to kind of bring it all together. I will add a little bit more blush later, but a lot of the times I'll finish the entire look and then add the last little bit. So now we're gonna take this really thin brush again and I am just going to go in and line the edge of the eyes just so it looks nice and defined. And I'll go on top and then I'll do a little bit underneath. I also want to extend the actual lid line down a little bit just to give the eyes just a slightly downturned look. This makes them look a little rounder. And yep, and now I'm just lining underneath the eyes just a little bit just to give them that nice clean definition. And now I am just going to be taking a little bit of this orangish pinky pigment and I'm gonna tap a little bit onto my lips. I don't want like full lipstick, but I want enough that the lips don't look like dried out or anything like that. Just enough to add a little bit of color and then I'm just buffing them out with my fingers so it looks nice and natural. So now we are gonna go in and do the freckles. You can do this with a pointed brush or a toothpick. I usually like to prefer a brush because it makes them bigger, but my brushes are all at the Panada, so I am doing it with a toothpick. So this part I sped up just a little bit because when you're doing it with this small of an applicator, it takes a little while. So I'm just really dotting them all over the place. I just want them to be really covering that uh, center part of the face. And I just, I want them to be all over the place. I want it to look very, very freckled. And as you can see, I'm just kind of dotting them around in random places, some of them a little darker than others. And now I'm gonna take this kind of fluffier brush and I'm gonna pack on some of this cool toned brown and a little bit of the darker brown underneath it to make Jack's little dirt spots that we will wipe off in act two. Um, so we're just kind of blending that out on my chin and getting it really like fluffy towards the outside because we don't want it to look clean. Um, and then I'm doing a little bit on the forehead as well. And now that that looks like the shape that I want, I'm gonna go in with a darker pigment and just add a couple little splotches to give a little variety to the color of it itself. This will make it look a little less like it is eyeshadow on the face. And then I'm just gonna get any excess product off and blend it out a little bit and then I am just smudging it with my thumb because it gives it a more naturally smudged look. And then I'm just, you know, smudging any excess product on my thumb kind of down. I don't want this to look super clean, obviously. I want it to look very messy and very, you know, smudged around. So now that we have that, I'm gonna go in and add that blush to my nose because after I was done with it, I realized I wanted a lot more than I put on there originally. I want Jack's nose to be pretty blushed. And again, this is just going to draw that attention towards the center of the face. So now that we are all done, that is Jack. Thank you.